Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. Me and Anand did a video in Manipechu on Sunday about medical insurance. I don't know if you guys caught that or not. So, I don't know if people who watch Be Rich watch Manipechu or people who watch Manipechu watch Be Rich. So, I thought it's uh, warrants covering here because it's something very important and very critical that every single one of you do this. Get medical insurance. And uh, getting medical insurance is important. But before you do it, you should know what all you need to look for it. Because if you don't look for it, you might fall into the typical marketing pitfalls of uh, medical insurance where you think you've got insurance, but you haven't, that you've been scammed out of it. When the time comes in the hospital and you look for that insurance, you come to realize the insurance company refuses to pay most things. And you've been wondering why we've been paying this medical insurance. And there's no coverage. Because the most important thing about medical insurance is coverage. And if you don't have the coverage, it serves no purpose. So the first thing which you need to look understand about is medical insurance coverage. And the coverage should be cover hospitalization, surgery, lab tests, and sometimes even outpatient care can be covered and prescription drugs can be covered depending on the policy. So these are the things you should note. Hospitalization, surgery, lab tests, outpatient, prescription drugs. Make a list of that. So when your insurance agent's talking to you, you can say, Okay, I want hospitalization coverage, which I want uh, lab test coverage. I would also like outpatient and drug prescription coverage. Another thing you should always remember is room rent. If you get admitted in a hospital, uh, medical insurance companies are very smart in the way they put that they'll cap certain features on room rent. They'll say, we will not allow you to have a separate room, that they will only pay 50% cap. So there are different ways and terminologies to it. So make sure that you get the room which you want which is if you want individual room or if you want without any cap, that you're very clear on this when you're communicating to your insurance agent and you tell them this. So one is coverage, what all it covers, your insurance. Second is your room rent limit, right? So discuss that also in great detail. In your policy, what is a room rent cap and will it apply to the total claim? Get clarity on the room rent too. The Third thing insurance companies try and get you out on, medical insurance companies try and squeeze you out on is disease-wise sublimits. So what they'll do is they'll say, if it is A, Y, B, C, D, you can get so much coverage. If it's other diseases, you get only so much. If it is diabetes, you only get so much. If it's cancer, they'll break it down and it can get rather confusing. You should not have sublimits at all. So you ask for a policy that covers everything and anything. It's nothing other than it. Of course, every time you ask for these things, they'll say your policy cost is going to be more expensive. Policy cost will go up. It's fine because you do not want to be shortchanged at the time when you need the insurance. Even the simplest of surgeries nowadays will go to 5, 7 lakhs, 10 lakhs. And let's say you've amassed a wealth of 1 crore. Suddenly you have a hospital emergency and 10 lakhs vanishes from your kitty because you went in the hospital. So that's why I'm saying the insurance is important and having caps Removing all those caps is important and it is something which is vital and you never know when you'll need it. So it's always better to have it. So remember this, disease by sublimit. The other known as is co-payment. Some people take for this co-payment clause where the insurance company will bear some of it and you have to bear some of it. Don't do all that. You'll end up losing in that. So always offer for none of this co-pay option because co-pay options used by insurance com- companies to lower the premium but also means paying more out of your pocket at the time of claim. So don't do this, right? Try and avoid that. The, the next thing which they try and squeeze you out is on consumables. Not all policies are equal. So what they'll say is, we'll only cover these consumables. We will not cover gloves, masks, and sanitizers. And these are very crucial for all hospitals and they do cost money. And trust me, even an injection, when you go to the hospital and you're in inpatient treatment, what you thought was just be 100 rupees, 50 rupees, It's not that when it's built through the hospital with their overheads and nurse charges and doctor charges, each injection can run up for four, five thousand rupees very easily. And in a day, you might require three, four injections. And before you know it, 50, 60,000 rupees will just go on consumables. This can happen. It's happened to me. It's happened to a lot of people. So make sure consumables are covered in your insurance. Then another thing you want to know, clarity, get clarity is in, is understanding your maximum coverage limit and what treatment conditions are excluded in it. And that is very crucial to know this. This is to avoid any surprises during the claim. So get clarity in what is your policy limit, how much will the company actually pay, and what are the exclusions in this 
so you know before even you go to the hospital your pol- what your policy will cover what you need to worry about what you have and most important is nowadays most insurance companies offer cashless facility cashless facilities you have an insurance card you get admitted in their hospital and you show the card and you are admitted treatment starts and the insurance company will take care of all the bills at the time of bill payment you don't have to pay anything after the above and beyond the policy cover you will have to pay but till the policy is coverage you will be taken care of by the insurance company so make sure you know about this claim process how your company and your policy works some of them have something known as a settlement ratio that means how fast the settlement uh, is processed by the company this is a great thing to know before you choose your company the company that has a good settlement ratio is preferred because that means you don't end up sitting an extra day in the hospital after your treatment is over waiting for the insurance company guys to get their act together and pay the hospital bill because the hospital will not let you leave the hospital till the bills are paid and the insurance company is paying it so it can get delayed so make sure you check these things these are all available on the website of IRDA or any other website you can go check by googling it and you can find out the other thing which you should always keep in mind is renewability of the policy make sure you have lifetime renewability because some policies what they do is after the age of 60 70 they let you say the policy expires you can't renew it after the age of 60 70 don't do that make sure your policy because imagine from the age of 25 30 you've been paying insurance all the way up to the age of 70 the day after your policy expires at the age of 70 you fall sick and insurance company says sorry so make sure that you have your policy renewable till lifetime this is also something critical to keep in mind and check right and uh, another thing which you should also keep in mind is don't uh, make sure your policy doesn't have any waiting period if it does have any waiting periods be very clear on what are the waiting periods and which disease it is particularly looking at and uh, riders also something very critical to look on because certain policies have a rider clause on it so make sure yours has and your add-ons cover the ones which you want and policy top-ups covers the ones you want this is something to keep in mind so these are the do's of health insurance which i wanted to give you briefly and walk you through it first is assess your needs read the fine print consider if it has sufficient cover stay informed about renewals okay and renewal dates because let's say you claimed your health insurance a couple of times most health insurance companies will let you lapse it by not reminding you If you're not claiming insurance, they'll keep reminding you. The minute you have claimed insurance a couple of times, suddenly they'll stop reminding you because they'll be hoping you'll forget and they'll lapse because it's an out-of-pocket expense for them. So they will want to let go of people who are claiming a lot of insurance. So always you should keep it your responsibility to renew your insurance and keep track of it on the renewal dates. And review policies and compare policies and their policies regularly so you know what is happening. And what are the don'ts you should not do while taking in health insurance? do not skimp on policy coverage right make sure you're not skimping on that just for lower premium okay you'll live to regret this i know a lot of people who have and avoid misrepresenting yourself in the company insurance company if you have a pre existing condition be open be vocal communicate it share your medical history because they can always use that that you did not represent your information fully and correctly and cancel your policy altogether which will leave you out in the lurch which is the worst thing to do imagine you're paying paying your policy for 5 years then they suddenly cancel your policy when you need it the most in the hospital saying that you did not tell them when you took the policy that you had this condition before so make sure and the most important thing is do not do not do not delay buying health insurance i hope after seeing anand's video on sunday most of you have already or all of you have already been calling insurance people and finding out which is the policy right for you and getting yourself covered It's a must this day and age. The way medical cost is increasing, all of us and every one of us surely will need medical insurance. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one soon. Bye. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English: The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks: Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy. send us a message to the whatsapp number given below and my team would respond to you if you want an amazon kindle copy you can click the link below finally those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to beerichenglish@gmail.com once again i thank you for your support if you like this video press the subscribe button of my channel hit the like button and turn on the bell notification